Hello everybody, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to warp or use Liquify, something that you're used to using in Photoshop to create warps and wobbles. I'm going to show you how to do it to video instead of just photos. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Here's an example. Here's the original shot. I'll just load the shot. Come on, Curtis, get to the correct button here. Here we go. Here's the original. Just got this girl dancing, doing her thing, whatever. Now I'm going to turn on the top layer and watch. Watch your face wobble and warp and do, and just do strange things. And this is done using the liquify tool. Let me show you how I did it. The first step is you just load in some footage like I've done here with nothing applied to it. The next step is you want to go to your effects and presets panel, go to the distort and then accept or take the liquify option right here. There we go. Once you apply it, if you're a Photoshop user and you look up here in the effect controls panel, you're going to see a few options. In particular, this is basically the forward warp tool, but inside video instead of inside Photoshop. If you look a little closer, this is a wave tool. This is the twirl uh, clockwise anti and counterclockwise. That's the word. Uh, pucker and bloat are here as well as a few others that you might be used to clone stamp etc anyways the one we want to use is this one here and that is the forward warp even though you hover on it you don't see it when you do click on it though you're going to get some options watch this i'm going to show you i'm going to go to the warp tool options and you can change a few things including brush size so right now it's default to 64 i'm going to turn it up a lot i'm going to go to like 500 just to really show you the effect. So I've gone and done that, and I'm also going to increase the brush pressure. So this is going to do some extreme warping, some extreme liquefying. I want you guys to know also up front here that liquefy is massively CPU and GPU intensive. This takes a ton of resources and slows things down. So I hope you have a fast computer. All right, with that little preamble out of the way, watch this. We've moved our playhead to the beginning. In order to begin the warping and the wobbling and the uh, liquify effect, you want to turn all three of these stopwatches on, op, on underneath view options. Okay, good. And we'll leave distortion percentage at 100. Now, also click on U when you're on top of the, when you click on your layer. And the reason why you want to do that is because it'll give you these three beginning percentages or these beginning um, keyframes. Command C or Control C to copy them because you want to keep those in case you ever, you know, you warp your stuff and you want to get back to regular and you're not sure how to get back. Just come make a copy of these and keep that in your clipboard, so to speak. Now, let's say that we want to begin the warping at the fifth frame. So right here, when she's doing her thing, I would click on this option here and then I'll begin to warp it. So I'm going to warp her face up. Whoa, Nelly. Okay, see, this is a humongous. Maybe that's too much. What do you think? Hey, let's Command Z or Control Z. That's a little bit much. So I'm going to maybe be a little subtler and I'm going to elongate her neck a little bit and I'm going to make her into a bit of a giraffe. Okay, this is just a, a, a just a, you know, whatever. It's a warp effect. And then as we get to the 10, I'm going to bring it back down a little. Um, and maybe I'll bring it to the right. So we're just going to warp. Again, this is just, you know, showing you how it works. And then at the end, at one second, oh yeah, she's got a bit of an alien face. I'm going to warp it up crazy like that. Okay, and then at this point, I'm going to hit Command V. Remember when I told you to copy those things? If you hit Command V, that resets it so that these were the original values at the beginning here. Now we've gone ahead and added them in. So let me show you what this kind of looks like. Let's hit spacebar. Warping, warps her face. This is how you do a dream trance crazy effect doing liquify just like you would in Photoshop except on moving pictures. How awesome is that? I know. Anyways, guys, that's how you liquify video and get that warpy, wavy, wobbly look using uh, After Effects. Thanks for watching.